Oh, second floor. Ah, I guess. Let's go look at the third floor for some inspiration, second floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is such good inspiration. All right, Joe, you wanted to see what these look like. I'll try to get as close as I can before my camera loses focus. Pretty good, eh? All right, a few days ago, the third floor looked just as much of a disaster as the second floor. So, pretty much just do the same thing. All right, before I get started, I'm going to take a moment to answer a question. Someone asked me, what do your kids do all day if they, if they don't have a phone or a tablet? Oh, the question itself just hurts my soul. Well, I can't tell you what they do all the time. So let me give you a, a couple examples. So I was out here working all day. Not, not today, this is another day. And uh, I went back to the house to get a snack. And my seven-year-old daughter's sitting on the couch with a book. And I could see that uh, she only had a few pages left. It was like a pretty thick book, like a novel, not a picture book. Like all words. And she's got maybe five or ten pages left. And so I asked her, how many days ago did you start that book? And she looks at me kind of funny and is like, uh, well, and I was like, maybe she didn't understand the question. Or maybe I need to rephrase the question. When did you start reading that book? And she's like, lunchtime? And I'm like, it's like 3 o'clock. And I was like, did, did you just read that whole book this afternoon? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, that, that's ridiculous. She read a whole novel in three hours? So I sat there kind of inconspicuously watching her as she carried on reading and counting one, two, three, four, timing how long it takes her to read a page. And her little eyes are going and uh, she's just flipping through pages and I did, did the calculation. And at the rate she was reading, it would only take her like an hour and a half to read the entire book. It's crazy. So, so yeah, three hours including breaks and snacks and stuff. Oh. So my one daughter reads a lot, a lot. I need to get her some like science books or something. Turn her, turn her into a little genius. Um, uh, today, I was hanging out with my kids this morning and we were playing together. And I wasn't directing them or anything. I was just kind of like hanging out with them, helping them do whatever they wanted to do. And what they wanted to do was build Jaegers and Kaijus out of Lego. And then destroy the Kaijus and then make a new kaiju. It was good stuff. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> are you all done building kaijus? There is one thing I want to take care of before I do the second floor. Right here is a crack. And it's the last one that was still moving. Let me show you. Some of the other ones I've fixed. There was a crack here, and the last time I patched it was weeks ago, and it hasn't opened up at all. And then there was another one over here. You can actually see the uh, different colored of the uh, the last material I patched it with, and uh, it's not opening up at all. And that was from weeks ago. So these ones seem like they're they've all settled and they're not opening not moving anymore so why is this one still opening it's uh moving super slow this is this is the material i put on here weeks ago and it just has a hairline crack so it's opening very slowly but why is that okay the crack is right in there and if we look below it's hard for me to see the screen right now, but down here there's two holes that are brown around them. And that's because when it rains, rain collects in the spot behind the wall there, runs down, comes out these holes, and is taking some material out with it. So I'm, I'm losing material under my foundation. 
just a tiny bit at a time every time it rains. So to fix this, I want to do two things. First, I want to stuff material back under the under the foundation, even more than I lost, you know. And then I want to fill this whole area with clay and pack it down nice so that when the water comes down the building, instead of pooling right there, it'll hit the clay and run down this way and go out somewhere else. Okay, back over to the side where the, the cracks are fixed and seem to be holding very well. This side of the building, there's a bunch of clay in here. Uh, so the water comes down and they're at the top of a hill and the water runs away from the building before trying to get into the ground anywhere. So that seems to really be working well. I'm going to go back to my rock injector here since it worked really well before. Seems packed in there nice and hard. All right, that should be good enough for now. I'll get some more dirt in here when I have my bulldozer going. Someone in town is selling the bread maker for eighteen dollars, so I'm gonna go get it tomorrow in my kayak. It's about a 30 mile round trip and I'm taking my little quarter horsepower outboard motor with enough batteries to go an estimated 12 miles. So that means if I paddle all the way there, I should be able to make it almost all the way back on the motor. And if I paddle on the way back with the motor, I should be able to make it all the way back. So that's going to be my, my next big motor test and a super fun adventure, of course. Oh, I should bring a fishing hook. I can drag a line while I'm...